Underneath the roof depot is soil that is filled with arsenic. Arsenic poisoning, according to the CDC, leads to skin lesions, yellowing of the skin, and skin cancer, bladder cancer, lung cancer. Um, so if the city is to demolish the roof depot, which they plan to, arsenic poisoning would happen to everybody in that neighborhood. Um, the East Phillips Neighborhood Institute has repeatedly asked to put a dome over the demolition to stop the arsenic from spreading. The city has denied that. Um, and they are just refusing to collaborate with the, with the East Phillips people. He's taking food out of children's mouths with his um, Feed Our Futures um, uh, scandal. We'll see if it sticks. To, I'm not sure um, if it's going to uh, stick with this uh, stuff. To his political connections. Yeah. And uh, now he wants to knock down Good enough uh, now. Uh, knock down <laughs> Ruth Depot and put more arsenic in the community so that he can sell the existing water yard to developers. And I just want to say that I, Jacob Fry, I also smell children. <laughs> because right now, this community is being threatened and now we're being held hostage by our own taxpaying dollars, you know, in court. We're being asked, pay $4.3 million if you want to breathe uh, clean air. We're being told, pay us $4.3 million if you want a fucking chance. And that doesn't even guarantee we will be successful in court. Again, the East Phillips community is being asked to raise money it does not have. I think that an inordinate amount of arsenic is going to be spread into a neighborhood that's already contaminated with heavy metals, with mercury, with lead, with other things um, that are a result of like the train tracks that exist off of 28th Street, as well as like the legacy of the industrial you know history of the South Side neighborhood. Um, and there's no reason to release that that into the street, into the people, into people's air supply, into their soil. I think that there's existing proposals to use the building as it stands that are ways to help the community in ways that are actionable, meaningful, helpful, and actually like will help the lives of residents of this community instead of bulldozing it to make way for city whatever they want to do and subjecting people to environmental harm that's absolutely unnecessary at this point in time. I've been in there standing. No, nope. this, that's it. This is undemocratic. We're going to be in the overflow room, sir. Let us in. Let us in. That's against the law.
okay. calling the roll on the proposal to delay for one cycle to the council meeting of February 9, 2023, the contract for demolition of the Hiawatha campus. This is the motion to delay for yes. one cycle. Aye. Aye. Councilmember Payne. Aye. Councilmember Koski. Nay. Councilmember Shuttai. Aye. Councilmember Chavez. Aye. Councilmember Ellison. Aye. Councilmember Vitoff. No. Councilmember Rainville. No. Councilmember Goodman. No. Councilmember Wansley. Racist fuckers. Councilmember Johnson. Oh, no. That motion fails, and now we have in front of us the contract for. Fucking come down here. You guys could have gave two shits. 